OM 20mm f1.4. When this lens was first launched, I told to myself, don't look at this lens, don't look at this lens, don't look at this lens. And I've looked and I've bought it. Let me tell you what I think about this lens in this video now. My name is uh, Tudor Matescu and on my channel I talk about uh, camera gear, camera photography tips and tricks. So please be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. So let's get to the subject and why why I've bought a new Micro Four Thirds lens even if I told myself don't look at Micro Four Thirds again and year ago. But I've kept my Micro Four Thirds system how I've talked in a previous two videos, check the links from uh, the description and from the cards to see what is my opinion about Micro Four Thirds and how can Micro Four Thirds be great again and with this new sensor from Olympus it is possible. So I've kept my Micro Four Thirds system because I really like the Olympus image quality from the Pro lenses. I had the 12-100 f4 Pro zoom. So after that zoom I have bought Olympus 12 to 45 mm f4 Pro Zoom and I'm filming myself with that Pro Zoom small Pro Zoom excellent image quality so I really love the image quality from the Olympus Pro lenses and I felt that this might be a good lens for me because I really love the 40 mm equivalent field of view and I really love the 40 mm field of view on a 4 thirds sensor and being an f1.4 small lens pro lens weather resistant i told myself at the end buy it even if it's so expensive and now i want to tell you my impression after using this lens for over a week and i try to use it intensively indoors and outdoors to see if this lens can deliver image quality and uh, we will find out about that in this video now let me tell you about the image quality of this lens. I'm amazed. I'm thrilled about this lens. I really love all about this lens. From my point of view, this is the best, the best 40 mm field of view equivalent lens that it is out there with AF, with AF. It has an amazing, amazing image quality that feather bokeh, that optimized feather bokeh, it is something unseen, unseen. And after seeing and experience that feather bokeh, I'm really thinking about the F1.2 Pro lenses from Olympus. There is something there with that feather bokeh. I don't know, it is something there. So I really get good shallow of depth of field, enough shallow of depth of field for this field of view. So getting close to my subject, making portraits or photographing small objects or bigger objects, but up close, I really get what I need. So for a 40 millimeters lens, that bokeh, it is something out of this world. I don't know. I really, really love it. it I really love how it renders the bokeh, how it renders the auto focusing area in front and up front of the main focusing point. So really treat with the image quality for f1.4 to f11. At f8 it is the most sharp lens I've tested it on uh, Olympus and it is sharper than 12 to 45 f4. But it is about that f1.4 aperture and uh, the glass from Olympus. So I'm really, really satisfied with the image quality. I believe it is above some of my best Fujifilm lenses and above some of my full frame lenses. I don't want to call names right now, but I really love what I get from this lens and I'm really happy, happy with this lens. I really do believe that it is a better lens comparing it to Sony 40 mm f2.5 or uh, Nikon. 40 mm f2. I've checked those lenses on the internet, on the Flickr pages and for me at least I really, really dig the quality. 
and the f1.4 that I get with this lens. So, I don't know. From my point of view, I really feel that this is the best 40mm lens that it is out there with AF. Really, really love it. Really love it and I'm really satisfied now with this lens. I really, I really don't have the need to look at another system and, and another lens. I really do feel this lens, it is a perfect match for my photography style. The contrast is good, the micro contrast is good, the resolution is good, the sharpness is good, the auto focusing in front and uh, behind the subject are very good. So really, really recommend this lens for image quality. But image quality it is not enough if this lens it isn't small enough and light enough to be carried with you. So now let me tell you about the ergonomics of this lens, about the fan factor of using this lens. So I'm using this lens on Lumix GX9, a small micro four thirds body that is not having such a good grip, but an acceptable grip if I'm using this wrist strap. And I love the combo. It is okay. It is a little, a little front heavy, but not too much. It can be used as an everyday camera. It is a little heavy, but not too heavy. It's not something that I can say, okay, I will not take it because it's too heavy. I will take it because the image quality, it is so good that I can accept this package. But this package, it doesn't depend just on this lens. This lens has 250 grams and Lumix has around 50, 100 plus grams. So I'm thinking if I will pair this 20mm f1.4 lens on Olympus OMD M10 Mark IV, I will really get a lighter package with a better grip. So this is what I want to do in the future, buy EM10 Mark IV or I hope for Mark V with that new sensor, that l very light camera that has just 380 grams and pair it with this lens, I will have a lighter combo, easy to carry and very compact with the image body stabilization from Olympus. So I can shoot this lens indoors at ISO 800 and so on. So I really think this lens, it's uh, the way to go for Olympus. They must repeat this design, make it a little lighter, make it a little smaller for a 25mm f1.4 and for a 70mm f1.4. If they will get out there with small primes with feather bokeh, I don't know, for me, for me, for what I like to do and uh, for high judge image quality, I really, really love the image quality that I get from Olympus Pro lenses and that feather bokeh, it is something that I really love that it's really inspiring me and it is really impressing me. So I really recommend that for OM system to do. Build quality it is very good as you would expect from an Olympus lens. It is metal built, weather sealed, very sturdy in the hand. The AFS and AFC are working very good on my Lumix GX9. It is, it is focusing instantaneously and very exactly. So really, I really have no complaints regarding the build quality and the AF system of this lens by day or by night. Getting to the conclusion part, what I can say is that um, I think OM system did the right thing to do. They made a small pro lens at f1.4. That f1.4, it is a genius move. You get a very good ISO because of that f1.4. With the feather bokeh you get very good rendering of that bokeh of that auto focusing areas. The images that you get are something unique on a 4 third sensor format. And that field of view, that 40 mm field of view on a 4 thirds format, amazing, amazing field of view. It is something like uh, 20 mm but not being so wide and uh, more taller than a 2x3 format. So I really love the combination. You can do all the photography that you can want to do with this lens. 
it is a more comprehensive lens than a 35mm on a full frame lens. But you also get that compression, that middle lens that it is able to offer you the chance to do portraits. So with this lens I can do environmental portraits, I can do close-up portraits, I can do landscape photography, I can do urban photography, I can do documentary photography, I can do indoor photography. And if a lens passes the test of indoor photography in my house and a system will pass that test, then it is a good system and it is a good lens because indoors I don't have a very good light and being a small indoor I have to isolate my subject. And this lens it is isolating my subject and with this combo or with Olympus MDM 10 Mark IV 5 in the future, I will have a small, small package that will offer me indoors and outdoors by day and by night a very usable every day and every night camera that I can use in every, every situation. So, really recommend this lens and I hope OM will follow this path, make smaller lenses with smaller cameras and they will not cripple the cameras because a lot of users are wanting small good cameras and I don't want to go to Leica or uh, to Fuji when I can have the Olympus in the image stabilization and Olympus feather bokeh with this beautiful and extraordinary rendering. So I really truly recommend this lens and I really think the price it is right and you will really enjoy it if you will know how to use it and how to get the most out of this lens. Thank you for watching uh, my video. Please be sure to check the links from the description and from the comments for more information and for my blog review. And also be sure to check uh, my newsletter where you will receive a POV of me using Fujifilm x 4 c and X100V to document an event. Thank you and uh, bye bye.